So in this video, I'm going to start off with the word God. Now, I guess when I got in my 20s, it started tripping me out that there were two words for the word, for uh, the concept of God in the Bible. Well, there's a lot more than that, but one, the, two that I, the one that always tripped me out was Lord, especially as I read the definition of it. No, not when I read the definition. When I found out that there were people who were called Lord in this world, I'm like, why would we call a man the same thing we call the creator of the universe? Like, I thought we stopped doing that, you know, back like 2,000 years ago. I thought Caesar was the last person who wanted to call himself God. So to me, the word Lord is like dead. I don't even use that word. I even I hate to hear anybody use that word. But I'm going to read the definition of God. Now, before I read the definition, let me say this. There are some words to me like, because there are four definitions. <laughs> there are four definitions of the word God. Like, to me, some words don't need more than one definition. And if there's more than one definition for it, that's confusion. And the Bible says God is not the author of confusion. So, let me read these four definitions. God. Definition one. The supreme or ultimate reality. Now, I hadn't read these definitions in a while, and this is kind of tripping me out. Number two, no, this is one, A, the being perfect in power, wisdom, and goodness, who is worshipped as creator and ruler of the universe. B, this is one B, Christian science, this is from Christian science, whatever that is. The incorporeal divine principle ruling over all as eternal spirit. Infinite mind. Second definition. A being or object believed to have more than natural attributes and powers and to require human worship. Specifically, one controlling a particular aspect or part of reality. Three. A person or thing of supreme value. Four, a powerful ruler. Now this is, I hadn't really read a definition in a while. And the one that tripped me out is not even in here, but these, these is, is enough of a trip out. Let me see if I can find the one. I don't think I can. Well, either way, if we look at the, I look at these definitions, and I look at the way I, we think about these things when we grow up, and the two kind of don't go hand in hand, you know what I mean? This is another example of, we don't really know what these words mean that are coming out of our mouth. Vows. Next, I want to talk about vows. Why do the characters... Why do the characters of vows? A-E-I-O-U. The image representation. A-E-I-O-U. Why do they stand for more than one vow? E can stand for E or E. I can stand for E or I. Y can be a vowel, and it can stand for A E I R A E R I. Let me see. A stands. Sorry, bug just got on. A stands for A R I. I think it stands for E. Um, O and U is kind of interchangeable. Like it's things like this. Like who set up language, and why haven't it been changed yet? We also smart, but we really don't give a fuck that we don't know. 
about the words coming out of our mouth. Now I'm going to talk about some of the other letters of the alphabet, the consonants, some of the consonants. As I said in my first video, I started studying, getting more in depth into the English language because I was trying to learn Spanish language. And once I started studying Spanish and I had to learn grammar, which is freaking complicated when you don't know nothing about language or when you just have a public education. Um, when I started learning Spanish grammar, I realized I didn't know English grammar. Okay, side note. How many people know that was, is, and are are the same word? Just a different conjugation. I had to break that here because I don't have it in my notes to talk about that. So I just wanted to cut that in. That shit is fucking crazy to me. Um, anyway, back to grammar. So I didn't know English grammar. So this made me start studying English. But that's just a side note. Anyway, in the Spanish language, I learned studying Spanish that every alphabet, let me say this first. You can't say a consonant without saying a vowel. You can, practice, you can try it out if you want to, but you can't say a consonant without saying a vowel. So every alphabet, all the consonants have a basic vowel sound, like English is E. B, C, D, T, and so on. Spanish is E. A, B, C, D, um, T. I think that's, that might be a little different. But that, that's what I learned about the alphabet. I don't remember them teaching the dad in school, but whatever. Maybe they thought they don't have to. I don't know. So with that being said, trying to put this in the words right. I guess I'll just go out and say it. Just go ahead and say it. Some of the letters don't make sense in the English language. I first saw this with G and J. Now, I think everybody knows pretty much that C and S kind of intermingle and C and K kind of intermingle. But G kind of tripped me out because if you look at the G words in the dictionary, most of them don't even have a G sound. They start with the G sound. God or uh, gobble, glutto, go. And I found that quite odd because if you look at J and you put the vowels with it is ja, g, j, um, jo, and ju. <laughs> so the letter for g, which sounds like j e g, most of the words in the under the g heading of the dictionary don't even have the g sound it has the g sound and that shit is crazy to me another letter like that is w and r or w let me say there are words now most of them ain't like this under the w heading but if you put the w and the r together in in in, in a in a word you get a word that doesn't have that doesn't sound like the W like wrinkle I don't have a list of the words but that's another trippy one along with C S and K now I got some of the words for G that do have there are some words that do have the G sound general geo which is means earth when you put it in 
um, mix it up in words. Gem, Gemini, Genesis, Geometry, German, Germ, Jester, Giant, Egypt, Gypsy, and Gem, like uh, you go to shoot ball in. I also find it interesting that the Masons, they always uh, expound, well, not expound, their letter that they have on buildings or whatnot is G. I don't know. Shit's fucking crazy. Well, I guess that concludes video two. Um, love and harmony to all the inhabitants of the planet Earth.